Hi guys. Well, it is another cold, gloomy midwinter day in April in the great state of Texas. Good Lord. Here on Friday. It feels like January 7th, but I guess it's April 7th, 2023 in the great state of Texas, where again, I guess it's warmer in New York than in Texas, and I guess it will be warmer in New York than in Texas pretty much for the next week. Uh, <laughs> uh, the delicious irony, and I'm just having one of those days. Uh, one of those days. Let's see what can go wrong during my weekly ecological meltdown roundup rant where uh, each week I, you know, talk to myself. I go over here to mongabay.com <clears throat> to talk to myself. And this week we're going to see what is on the minds of Rhett Butler and the boys and girls at Manga Bay. You know, while the world's attention is riveted, riveted on whether some billionaire, uh, fat ass billionaire, uh, cheated on his wife 18 years ago with some hooker and paid a hooker some hush money. Uh, shut up. Oh, shut up. Uh, so while the planet is glued to whether some disgusting billionaire paid off a hooker to keep her mouth shut, let's see what is going on on the rest of the planet, completely uh, unbeknownst to the clueless morons being distracted by that story. Well, unbelievably, guys, we actually have some good news. We have some good news, and <clears throat> from, from uh, Ecuador, I've been talking about this, you know, this is where I used to live in the Intag Valley, <clears throat> where all of these uh, gringo expats have been, uh, have been fighting this giant planet-eating copper mine, uh, and it's really been building to a head, so finally, after years, uh, they got their day in court, and unbelievably, Ecuador court upholds the rights of nature and blocks Intag Valley Copper Mine. Hallelujah. So, uh, it goes to show you, you know, if you have enough uh, rich gringo expats, living in a community, banding together, uh, you know, hiring uh, high-priced lawyers and everything else, you actually stand to uh, win a court case against these uh, Chinese uh, <clears throat> mining companies. Uh, Anyway, good for them. Now, let's see if the Ecuadorian government gives the rights of nature to the Amazon jungle. Anyway, but, you know, we'll take every little ray of good news we can get. Uh, okay, this is their weekly update of how Mennonites... Uh, are destroying the planet. I think what we've heard, we have heard how Mennonites are destroying uh, the Yucatan Peninsula. We have heard how the Mennonites are destroying Colombia. We have heard from Manga Bay how the Mennonites are destroying Paraguay. This week, I guess we get an update uh, on how the Mennonites 
are destroying the country of Bolivia. Today, Bolivia's Mennonite population numbers around 150,000, most of whom are involved in mechanized industrial agriculture. As Mennonite colonies continue to expand, so too are their massive crop fields, which in this case here are putting pressure <clears throat> on uh, Bolivian indigenous territories and other protected areas. You know, there, there is this uh, absolute hilarious myth that Mennonites, and I throw, uh, and I would throw uh, Amish uh, in with Mennonites. I never really understood the difference between the two. Okay. Uh, anybody thinking that uh, Mennonites, that Mennonites are not involved in industrial agriculture, in mechanized industrial agriculture. And as I say, at least the Amish people I am dealing with, you know, in my own little planet nibbling schemes at Bugs in a Jar Farm, uh, they, they, this Amish family uses a hell of a lot more fossil fuels uh, than I do. Uh, by orders of magnitude. Uh, yeah, that Mennonites and the Amish. Or <laughs> anyway, moving on. Uh, I did not, uh, I cannot believe there are any uh, chimpanzees still remaining in the shithole country of Equatorial Guinea where iron ore mining is now planned in an area uh, that chimpanzees live. Uh, blah, blah, do you think so? Uh, okay, so what is going on with the Patoxo indigenous people? Well, the Patoxo first Asian invaders in southern, in southern Brazil are experiencing a renewed wave of violence in orders to leave their communities after they began reoccupying part of their traditional lands uh, last summer. So everyone is waiting to see if and how the new administration, you know, of Lula can curb the violence and mitigate land conflicts while standing up to powerful economic interests in the region. Hmm, do you think so? Uh, as agribusiness, ranching, eucalyptus, uh, farming and real estate development continues to encroach on their lands which are in a legal limbo. Uh, there you go. Uh, la, 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 la. Good Lord, there's a lot here and I am freezing. have a lot left to do. You know, we were talking last week about the Mekong River Delta being pretty much drained to a trickle by all of these hydropower dams. Yep, robust river governance is the key to restoring Mekong River vitality in the face of dams. Yes. Robust river governance is going to solve the problem of billions of cubic meters of Mekong, Mekong River water now being harnessed behind dams 
in the interest of power generation affecting crucial physical and biological processes that sustain the river's capacity to support life. But we're just going to get some robust river governance to take care of that. Uh, here we go. This is a commentary where the views expressed are those of the author not necessarily of Manga Bay. <clears throat> After 150 years of damage to people and the planet, Rio Tinto mining giant, quote, must be held to account. Yes, the giant mining company Rio Tinto marks its 150th anniversary this year. Yet, activists say it has a dirty history. Yes. Companies like Rio Tinto must be held accountable for the harm they cause. A new op-ed urges, urges, argues, or something like that. Uh, anyway, uh, yes. D, D, D. All right. What is going on in Kenya's Kiambu County? You can imagine what is going on. Prolonged drought in Kenya has caused a water threat crisis threatening local livelihoods and biodiversity. Uh, human activities such as dumping, encroachment, and overgrazing, not to mention breeding, coupled with dire effects of climate change, you know, caused by human activities, exacerbate the degradation of wetlands, worsening the water crisis. Do you think so? Let's go down to the planet-saving country of Costa Rica, where we are counting dead cats on Costa Rica's highways. Yes. In Costa Rica, biologist Daniela Gamboa is working and apparently failing to protect wild cats from becoming victims of the highways. In 10 years of working, I guess she has scraped up about 500 wild cats from six different species off the road, which my guess is a tiny fraction of the wild cats getting run over while well, wild cats and everything else being run over in Costa Rica and everywhere else on the planet. All right, you know, they have their little miniature roundup from Africa. Okay, let's see. Here are the three little bullet stories from Sub-Saharan Africa. <clears throat> One small-scale miner was killed and four injured as security forces moved to evict them oh, from a concession held by Ghana's Golden Star Resources. So what this is, is planet eaters murdering planet nibblers. Gotta love it. Okay, what's going on in the Niger Delta? Exxon's mobile, Exxon Mobil's plan to exit from onshore oil production in the Niger Delta is effectively an attempt to escape from its toxic legacy in the region, communities say. Yes, and here in South Africa, you know, South Africa always being held, you know, in sub-Saharan Africa, 
when you get to the very bottom, as far as you can get uh, from the equator in uh, sub-Saharan Africa. You know, South Africa, you think, has a pretty, you know, compared to the rest, not quite the shithole of the rest of sub-Saharan Africa. What's going on there? <clears throat> Plans to frack for gas in South Africa will have devastating environmental impacts and cannot form part of a just transition to a cleaner energy source. Uh, I thought that natural gas was a cleaner energy source. Have, have those gas companies been lying to us all the time? Okay. Would you believe that marine protected areas alone will not save sharks? Hmm. Uh, anyway, moving on. Okay. Wildlife trafficking returns after pandemic lull. Yes. Uh, anyway, you know, this is one of those uh, articles, you know, that we've been reading for years about was Corona panic good or bad for uh, the planet. So apparently there was a dip in wildlife trafficking, uh, but now it's, uh, you know, it's just back on target. But my guess is the reason there were less wild animal parts sold on the market, you know, uh, the global market is because the little planet nibblers who actually kill the animals were eating them instead of selling them. It's just, just a, it's just a hunch. But anyway, D D D D. Alright. Okay. Alright. Good for U.S. based air products and chemicals. There you go. Good for U.S. based air products and chemicals has withdrawn from all of its projects in Indonesia, including coal gasification plants. Yes. Uh, okay. Good for them. Probably not so good for a Brazilian pulp and paper company called Kleben touts its green image despite mining interest. Yes. Uh, <laughs> a Brazilian pulp and paper company that has also now registered mining interest in over 190 areas across the countries. Uh, is it labeling itself green uh, or anyway moving on from the green washing uh, all right more hopium more hopium all right we've been waiting and waiting for the final version of the European Union biomass policy. <clears throat> the final 
European Union biomass policy continues to threaten forest and climate. The final revisions to the European Union's Renewable Energy Directive were reached on March 30th with nearly all environmental activists who had lobbied intensely for changes for years responded negatively to policies in support of biomass. The policy revisions will continue to allow the burning, the burning of the world's forest to make energy with emissions from the power plant smokestacks burning the forest not counted. So wood pellets will still be classified as renewable energy on par with wind and solar even though biomass releases more CO2 than coal per unit of energy produced. Yep, yep, yep. And Viva, the world's largest wood pellet producer, wrote that it, quote, welcomes the agreement and continued recognition of biomass as 100% renewable. And there you go. Oh, another article on how Bangladesh is doomed. Okay, for anybody thinking that we're going to save Brazil's Cerrado by planting trees, got some bad news. <clears throat> Almost half of Brazil's Cerrado savanna has been deforested, and restoration proposals now center largely on planting trees in the degraded areas. Huh. But, uh, it, 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 anyway, guys, uh, it, it's, it, this is too compla, uh, too complicated. It goes along with this story. In Brazil, scientists fight an uphill battle to restore the disappearing Cerrado Savannah. Yes. Countries around the world have made ambitious targets to restore native ecosystems as an important nature-based solution. Yes. Uh, good luck. Anyway. Okay. What is going on with all of these deep sea mining meetings that you've been having recently? Deep sea mining meeting closes without resolving whether or not mining can start in July. Yes. Uh, so I guess they're still divided on when they... Uh, I guess we'll find out. In July of 2021, the island of Nauru triggered a two-year rule that could obligate uh, this, this seabed authority to allow mining no matter what regulations are in place. So, uh, I guess we'll just wait and see, won't we? Uh, D, D, anyway. Okay. More about how 
Windmill's gonna save the planet. <sighs> Guys, uh, I could, uh, I realize I'm, I'm talking to myself. I'm freezing. Uh, it, 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 you know, once again, I, I, I could keep on going uh, down the line with this talking to myself. Uh, it's just, it, it just I, I just reach a point where I've, uh, where I, I just can't stand it anymore. And anyway, uh, it, I have to get back to this nasty, ugly day. And get ready to go to a picking party. I have to go make some planet-killing guacamole to take to a picking party. While I still can. My guys.